Hi there. Real quick before we jump into the episode. If you enjoy this episode or any of the other episodes, be sure to give us a follow or subscribe. It would also be great if you shared it with a friend or better yet, left a review so others can know how awesome it is. Thanks so much. And now, the episode. there, Press Starters, and welcome to the Press Start Leadership Podcast, the podcast about game-changing leadership, teaching you how to get the most out of your product and development team and become the leader you were meant to be. Leadership coaching and training for the international game industry professional. Now, let me introduce you to your host, the man, the myth, the legend, Christopher Mifsud. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome back to another awesome edition of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. On this week's episode, we'll be discussing scaling success from indie to AAA game production. Mastering the growth transition without losing your game's authentic spirit. In the world of video game development, there's perhaps nothing more enchanting than the tale of a small indie developer blossoming into a major AAA studio. We've seen it happen time and again, but with growth comes challenges particularly the challenge of scaling up without losing the original spirit or soul that made the game or studio special in the first place. Understanding the indie spirit. The indie game scene has always been a hotbed for innovation and creativity. With limited resources and often working from a garage or a small office, indie developers rely on pure passion, unique ideas, and a ton of coffee to bring these visions to life. There's a certain charm in playing a game knowing it was crafted by a small, dedicated team where every pixel, every line of code, and every note of music was a labor of love. Being indie is not just about the size of the team or the budget. It's about the spirit of innovation, freedom of expression, and the audacity to dream big even when the means are modest. The allure of going AAA. On the other side of the spectrum, AAA studios with their enormous budgets and large teams produce some of the most polished, expensive, and graphically stunning games on the market. They have the means to invest in top-tier voice actors, orchestral scores, advanced motion capture technology, and more. They can also afford to take on more significant risks, to a certain degree, given their financial cushion. The transition from indie to AAA is alluring for many reasons. One, resources. AAA studios have larger budgets, which means better tech, more staff, and more room to experiment and iterate. Two, reach. With a bigger marketing budget and brand recognition, AAA games can potentially reach a wider audience. And three, stability. While the world of AAA is competitive, a successful AAA game can bring in revenue that ensures studio stability for years. However, recent days and weeks have shown that that may not actually be true. Balancing Act Maintaining Soul While Scaling The journey from indie to AAA is fraught with challenges. The very things that can empower a studio, more budget, more people, more processes, can also dilute the unique culture and vision that made it stand out in the first place. Number one. Retaining creative freedom. One of the biggest fears indie developers have when scaling is losing creative control over their projects. As teams grow and stakeholders increase, there's a risk of too many cooks in the kitchen. AAA games can sometimes suffer from design by committee, where a game tries to be too many things to please everyone and ends up losing its unique identity. Number two, keeping the team spirit alive. With growth, there's a danger of the close-knit family feeling of an indie studio getting replaced by a more corporate atmosphere. It's essential to actively foster a studio culture that values every team member's contribution and encourages open communication. Number three, navigating bureaucracy. Bigger studios means more layers of management and decision making. While processes are essential to handle large teams and budgets, there's a fine line between necessary bureaucracy and red tape that stifles innovation. And number four, staying true to your audience. Many indie games find a dedicated niche audience who value the uniqueness of the title. Studios aim for a broader market appeal. There's a risk of alienating the original fan base. Lessons from successful transitions. Several studios have successfully made the leap from indie to AAA without compromising the original vision. Here are some strategies they employ. Emphasizing studio culture. Even as they grow, successful studios often emphasize maintaining a strong and inclusive studio culture. They recognize that it's the people developers, artists, writers, testers. that are the most significant assets. They invest in team building, training, and ensuring open lines of communication. 
staying player centric. Studios that stay connected with their player base, valuing their feedback and engaging with them through beta tests, forums, social media, tend to navigate the transition better. They recognize that their original fans are their ambassadors and ensure they remain a part of the studio's journey. Flexible hierarchies. While processes and hierarchies are necessary, successful transitioning studios ensure they remain flexible. They encourage innovation, allow teams autonomy, and promote a culture of constructive feedback. Diversifying risk. Instead of putting all their eggs in one basket, these studios often diversify their portfolio. They might have one or two flagship AAA titles, but continue to support and produce smaller indie projects. As the gaming industry continues to evolve, the lines between indie and AAA are becoming more blurred. There's a recognition that the heart and soul of a game is not determined by its budget, but by its vision, passion, and the people behind it. Scaling from indie to AAA is not about abandoning those roots, but about finding ways to let them flourish on a larger scale. Ensuring smooth transition, tactical approaches. Transitioning from indie to AAA is not just about expanding the team size or securing more substantial financial backing. It requires a well thought out strategy and some tactical approaches to ensure the transition is smooth and the essence of the studio remains intact. Mentoring and training. As your team grows, it's vital to onboard new members effectively. This isn't just about teaching them the tools of the workflow. It's about teaching the studio's values, ethos, and vision. Pairing new hires with experienced team members for mentoring that can help it in seamless knowledge and culture transfer. Revisiting communication protocols. What worked for a team of 10 may not work for a team of 100. As teams grow, communication can become a challenge. It's essential to have clear communication channels, regular team check-ins, and transparent project management tools in place. Feedback loops. Encouraging a culture where feedback is valued and acted upon can be a game changer. It's not just about top-down communication. Team members should feel empowered to voice their opinions and contribute to the game's direction. Regular feedback sessions, anonymous suggestion boxes, or open forums can help in achieving this. Maintaining an R&D wing. One way to ensure you continue to innovate and stay true to the indie spirit is by having a dedicated R&D department. This team can work on experimental projects, explore new technologies, or even develop prototypes for potential new games. It keeps the spirit of innovation alive and ensures the studio doesn't become too complacent. Engage with the community. Your original fans were the ones who believed in your indie project when it was just a prototype or a Kickstarter campaign. As you grow, engage with them. Provide them with exclusive updates, involve them in beta testing, or even host community events. This not only keeps them invested, but also gives you valuable insights into how your games are received. Financial transparency. Significant change that often accompanies the transition is the financial stakes involved. Teams should be made aware of budget, where money is coming from, and where it's being allocated. This transparency can prevent potential misunderstandings and ensure everyone's on the same page. Potential pitfalls and how to avoid them. Scaling from indie to AAA can come with its set of pitfalls. Recognizing them early and being proactive in addressing them can be the key to a successful transition. Losing touch with the original vision. This is perhaps the most significant pitfall. As teams grow and external stakeholders like investors or publishers come on board, there's a risk of the game's original vision getting diluted. Regular vision alignment sessions, maintaining a strong creative director role, and always referring back to the game's core design document can help in staying true to the original idea. Burnout. With bigger projects come bigger pressures. Crunch times, tight deadlines, and long hours can lead to team burnout. It's crucial to recognize this early and address it. This might mean bringing in additional help, reevaluating timelines, or even setting aside dedicated downtime for teams. Overcomplicating processes. Processes are essential, but there's a risk of overcomplicating them. If a process seems to be slowing things down rather than aiding productivity, it might be time to revisit it. Always have the mindset of process serving the team rather than team serving the process. Overpromise and underdeliver. As you scale, there's a temptation to promise more to your audience, be it in terms of game features, graphics, or gameplay hours. It's essential to manage expectations and to ensure you can deliver on what you promise. Transitioning from an indie to AAA is an exciting journey, fraught with challenges, but also immense opportunities. With the right strategies, clear vision, and an unwavering commitment to the game's soul, studios can not only make this transition successfully, but also set new industry standards. The world of gaming is vast and diverse. 
There's always room at the top for those who innovate, inspire, and engage. All right, and that's this week's episode of Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thanks for listening, and as always, thanks for being awesome. Oh, hi there. The episode's over, but thanks for sticking around till the end. If you're on the quest to elevate your team's leadership, production, or game design capabilities, I'm here to assist. Leveraging extensive experience and a strategic approach, I offer personalized audits, bespoke workshops, and leadership retreat facilitation to drive your team toward excellence. My commitment is to provide efficient, reliable, and proven support, ensuring you have the tools and insights needed to thrive. Ready to unlock your team's full potential and achieve unparalleled success? Don't hesitate to press start on your journey to transformation today. Feel free to reach out directly to discuss how we can tailor a solution to meet your unique needs and goals. Let's connect and take your team's performance to the next level.